so uh, I've been thinking about a few ideas since someone asked about showing the ATM multi view inside a, a tablet uh, or a screen and so I'm using here an Ultra Studio Pro just to capture the multi view output and display it using FF Play which is a utility that comes with FFmpeg um, what you can see down here is uh, my surface just running um, from a web page using timers to show me the time shows that my clock is pretty accurate and I also have fed into my ATEM uh, from another PC the same clocks so you can see that the delay in capturing and playing in FF Play is pretty small it's maybe two frames uh, so that works pretty well um, but then the other thing I thought uh, was quite nice is that this is uh, scalable this window so you can place it on your surface and this is just a surface i5 it's not the top end one I'm not sure how well it would work on the m3 model but it seems to be working fine on this one um, so you can see the, the clock being captured through the atm the time here so nice uh, accurate um, representation of the inputs the other thing i've added on this is an overlay to show me the time on the last input so if i switch my inputs You'll see that the, this timer here resets uh, so just a, I find that useful sometimes when I'm doing a live mix and space out and forget to keep mixing this reminds me how long that that uh, current program shot has been live uh, and the thing that I've now started working on seeing that, realizing this is such a cool idea um, is you know, I was working on it is to uh, be able to yeah, move move things around on the screen like that clock so I'm also working on having uh, you know a cut auto transition button things like that using my PowerShell interface um, but of course yeah, once you've got that movable uh, wouldn't it be nice to also be able to vision mix just by touching the screen so of course this is vaporware I'm working on that at the moment the problem I've got is that to make this movable this is in a small window which uh, then stops it detecting um, from behind so a little bit of coding and I'm sure I'll have that uh, fixed shortly the other nice thing uh, about having uh, this on a video hub is if I just zoom out a bit does mean that it's uh, easy to um, just by changing my inputs up here I can select um, something like program out uh, or one of the camera shots direct uh, so you could use this for all sorts of things uh, so I'll do another update once I've got touch uh, mixing working <laughs>